Hello, Miss Alicia here. Welcome back. You are in lesson three of the Master Your Mommy Energy section of the program. I hope that your affirmation rituals went amazingly last week. And I want to give you a word of advice. Mindfulness is a journey, not a destination. You're not going to rewrite your paradigm from one week of using affirmations. So great job, but as you move through this, don't stop using the affirmations. Using them consistently is going to be the key to shifting your paradigm and creating a real change in your life. So continue to use them every day. And when you catch yourself complaining or saying anything that doesn't serve you, return back to that gratitude exercise and use positive affirmations to correct yourself. Because energy is everything which is exactly what we're going to focus on this week. It's been scientifically proven that every living and non-living thing gives off a vibrational energy. Even things that appear solid are not. They have a measurable energy field that vibrates on a microscopic level at various frequencies, depending on various factors. For example, a piece of wood that is being stress to the point of snapping will give off a much different frequency than one that's resting at peace. This is just the same for humans. The energy of the person that's laughing to the point of crying is much different from the vibrational energy of someone that's screaming. You can literally look at this frequency under an infrared camera. It's amazing. We are all balls of infinite energy that vibrate at different frequencies at any given moment. And it's our emotional energy that is creating our frequency, your vibration or your vibe, as I like to call it. And it's the same energy that communicates with everything around you. The people around you feel it. Your kids and spouse feel it. And even more importantly, it communicates to your subconscious mind and everything else in the universe. And this energy that you're sending out attracts back to your life. So if you complain and gossip all day, guess what? You're going to get more complaining and gossip in your life. If you seek control and argue a lot, with your spouse or your kids, it's going to come right back to you. Some call it karma. I call it the law of attraction. Pretty much the energy that you put out into the world comes back to you tenfold. Your vibration manifests your reality in every way. The third module of the Master Your Mommy Energy course is all about raising your vibration and manifesting the life that you deserve. But before we can get there, we have to rise up and really take advantage of our own energy. We have to change our perception about one very big thing that drains our energy, stress. Your mind and body have been programmed to automatically respond to stress since we were cavemen. Back then, the fight or flight response saved our ancestors from being eaten by a saber tooth or surviving a really harsh winter with no food. But today, we don't need the survival instincts the same way that we did back then. So our bodies tend to overreact to life stressors. Too much stress creates a major imbalance of energy in your body and too much imbalance can cause serious health problems including anxiety insomnia depression irritability or high blood pressure just to name a few stress affects us physically mentally spiritually it robs us of our energy and it affects our relationships and overall quality of life Mom stress especially creeps up on us when we feel an overload of worry and pressure, exhaustion, or any other negative stacked up emotions. When you're feeling stressed, you vibrate at a lower frequency. And this energy is like a magnet and will begin to attract more negative energy into your life. 
think about those mornings where your alarm doesn't go off and you wake up late and frantic. You end up stubbing your toe out of bed and then spilling coffee on your shirt. Your kids end up having a meltdown too because they can feel your energy. Eventually you're driving to work and you're stuck in traffic and you're late. It just goes on and on and on. It's easy to get stuck in the funk and you end up re radiating that energy all day long, attracting more of it to you. On the other hand, when you give off positive energy, you're attracting more of that frequency into your life. More on raising your vibration and manifesting the good stuff. Like I said, coming up in the good lesson, but for now, just embrace that energy is at the core of who you are and where you're going. And it's changing every day depending on the factors in your life. One major mindset shift I want you to make this week is how you respond to stress. Most people blame stress on external factors. You know, my job sucks or the car broke down today or the kids are driving me crazy. Well, I'm going to pop that bubble right now and say, no, it's not. The emotional stress you experience is not happening because of those things out here. It's happening inside of you. It's a result of how you are perceiving and processing emotional energy in your life. That is why one person can handle a very stressful situation, for example, much differently than another. Their beliefs and perceptions have helped them become much more patient and resilient in the face of stress. This is a very important shift to make because when something triggers you, you can choose one of two things. One, let the stress in. Let it have power over you. Or two, choose to redirect your energy in a way that serves you. You have a choice. It's not like when you were a child and you didn't have the capacity to reject ideas and energies. Now you do. You have the ability to say, no, thank you, and not let the junky stuff in. Become motivated by realizing that negative energy does not serve you. It makes you feel exhausted and anxious and moody. The type of energy or aura that you choose to exchange throughout the day will dictate everything about your life. And nothing should have control over that but you. Don't choose to give that power away to anyone for any reason. Let's say you're driving in your car and some jerk cuts you off with your baby in the car. This just happened to me this morning. My automatic response was anger and fear. I used to be the worst road rager, just to back up a little bit. I would yell in the car and say, what an idiot, why is this guy on the road? But as I responded with negative energy towards the driver, I was only hurting myself. I was attracting more negative energy to me. If I honked and maybe even threw a bird, they did the same back to me. This made me even more upset. And when I got home, I would choose to focus even more of my energy on the situation as I complained to my husband about it. Again, as a result, I'm giving away even more of my precious energy. All because of some bad driver on the road? A situation I have no control over? This is a perfect example of allowing automatic responses to stress take hold and rob us of our positive energy. It's not worth it. I don't want to affect my day or energy in a negative way. I choose not to. That is the major shift I want you to make this week. Start becoming mindful of how you choose to exchange your energy throughout the day especially in the face of stress and conflict. Once you increase your awareness of this, it becomes much easier to stop giving your precious energy away to things that aren't serving you. Now that I'm blessed with the gift of mindfulness, I react to that situation this morning much differently. 
after the fear and anger <laughs> surfaced, I took three mindful breaths and thought, maybe that man really had somewhere to be. Like maybe his wife was in the car and in labor and eating of a hospital or something. And that was the end of it. I chose to respond to the situation with empathy instead of letting the negative experience take over. There is a big difference between responding to a situation and reacting to a situation. A reaction is an automatic response and it's usually emotionally driven. It's more of a snap reaction versus a response. When we respond, we choose to take a mindful breath before we say or do anything. This pause gives us a, the seconds that we need to think before we respond. And the breath calms us down, so we're much more likely to respond with love and empathy. This mindful breath gives us a moment to change our perspective, which is really what I want you to embody this week. To explain, let me teach you the three ways that we see the world. The first is through the eye. Through the eye, we see things at face value. This leads us to draw automatic assumptions and pass judgment on what we see. So that dog over there looks big and scary, so it must be, right? Well, maybe it's the sweetest dog in the world, or maybe it's just a statue of a dog. I'm just making an assumption based on what my eyes letting me see. The second way that we see life is through reasoning. This point of view is limited by your own experiences and understandings about life. So you make an assumption and judgment calls based on what you know, based on what you've experienced, your memories. Seeing this way makes it very difficult for us to see or understand the other person's perspective, like that driver on the road earlier. And creating empathy helps us deflect a ton of unneeded conflict from our life. The third way we see is through the heart. Through the heart, we seek true understanding of a situation. We're able to put our own assumptions and judgments and logics behind and view a situation with an open mind and an open heart. We listen and we strive to understand the person while developing a sense of gratitude and love in the process. This is how the mindful person sees life. The way that we view the world and take in stimuli around us is so powerful to our journey. If you want to create change in the external world out there, you must first create change inside of your internal self in here. Let me say that a little bit of a different way. You cannot make changes in your physical environment until you can make changes with how you see the world. Mastering your energy will help you become the most awesome, patient, and happy person ever who isn't phased by the meltdowns and the constant pulling and pressures of being a mom. Changing how you see and experience the world has everything to do with your journey. This week is all about focusing on your emotional energy and changing your perspective as it relates to your stress response. In order to do this, you're going to need to do one very important thing, and that is to discover your triggers. Your emotional triggers are what sets you off when you become angry and vibrate at a lower frequency. Once you understand your triggers, I want you to focus on responding to them instead of reacting to them. That's what this whole week's going to be about. Practice taking a mindful breath and seeing the situation through your heart instead of through your eye or through logic. So for full instructions on this week's practice, don't forget to look under this video. It's all there. And remember to listen to this video every morning if you need to. If you need extra guidance and motivation, I'm here for you. Okay, I will see you in the next video.